How is it going everybody? In today's video we are checking out some cool jailbreak tweaks on my iPhone 10. As most of you may know already, you can jailbreak iOS 13 if you have a device with an A11 chip. Fortunately for me, I do. So I hopped on to check one rain or check rain or whatever it is and jailbroke my iPhone. So here you can see one of the first things I purchased was called AOD. And what this allows you to do is have an always on display just like on Android. One of the advantages and one of the things that you can do with this is program it to do a lot of different customizable things. For example, I have have it customized to be up here in the top corner. I also have enabled this feature so that when it is in my pocket, if you cover up the sensor, the screen will turn off. And when it comes out of your pocket, the screen will turn back on. So if it's sitting out on a table and you're rocking this somewhere out in public and you've just got it resting on the table, it'll go ahead, pop on. You can see the time, the date, your battery percentage, the weather. You can customize all of that to your liking. And you can also have it turn off to save more battery life inside of the app. So let me go ahead and talk you through how I did this and some of the options that you have inside of the app so that you can go ahead and customize it as well if you so choose to download this. So you go into settings and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to our jailbreak tweaks and AOD is the first one. So when we get inside of here there's all kinds of different features that we can change, enable, disable and do with our device. So here we have the different labels, that's what allows you to actually customize it. So inside of labels, we have date and time, battery, music controls, weather, custom labels. And what's really cool like with custom label is I can write my own label and I can hop back out, hit the respring button, and then on the device you'll be able to see the label that you created down at the bottom corner or wherever you decide to program it. For me, I went ahead and put it down in the the bottom so you'll see when it pops up I have a custom label right there though I could move that label up here to the top I could move it down to the bottom you have full control over where all of these settings go when you actually enable them on your device it's really cool and there's a whole bunch of different ones to choose from I'm gonna go ahead and jump back in there I don't really want it to say hello at the bottom so I'm gonna turn that back off and we'll go ahead and check out a few other things but it's actually really nice it's only a dollar fifty so I do highly recommend this if you're looking for something cool to do show off to your friends that you've got that jailbreak this is a pretty neat tweak the next tweak that I have on my device is called Manta now Manta is what's allowing me to have this neat looking lock screen widget set over here well at least move the clock to this corner that was a feature called Manta you install it and there are a few different settings and options inside of Manta as well let me go ahead and open up my phone and once we jump into settings, we can go down to our area here called Manta. And you'll see there's a few different things you can choose from, from the font weight and date, as well as alignment from left, center, or right. So you can do whatever you want to kind of tweak your device and make it more yours. The next tweak that I have rocking there on my lock screen is called Complications. This is another one that is highly customizable, but basically it adds Apple Watch style complications to your iPhone. So if we just go ahead and hop in, you'll see I have three different complications up here. So again, you just 3D touch on it and you have the ability to pick between a whole bunch of different options of what you'd like to have displayed there. So for example, I could have quick access to music, the date, my sunrise, weather conditions, the news application, and you can kind of pick and choose what you would like to have. I currently have it set to the battery percentage there on that one, but you can do whatever you wish with those and that's a really cool tweak to have. It's again called complications and you can go ahead and download that. Of course, one of the big reasons you might want to jailbreak is theming, and I have a pretty cool looking theme here on the device. You hop into Snowboard, and the theme that I have is Viola, so you can go ahead and install Viola, and it's got some pretty neat icons, so hang on, let me give you a little demo. theme 
name is Viola and you can download that and apply it using Snowboard. Two really cool tweaks, especially if you're new to the jailbreak scene and you're looking at those cool themes. That's a neat one you can pick up and it's an easy one to install as well. You just hop into Snowboard and you enable it and you're good to go. You've got a themed device and it's looking pretty fresh. Another thing that is really essential is something called Cylinder, which gives you page turn animations like this one. But Cylinder is really neat in the fact that it allows you to customize everything and it doesn't require a respring. So when you're going into your effects, you can choose all sorts of different ones. I currently have Vortex enabled on mine, but if you want to mess around and check out some different ones, let me show you a couple. I believe when you first download it, you're going to find that it has cube inside enabled, and that is this one. You can make your own. So if you want to do curl and roll away, you can combine that with explosion and create something really neat. So there's curl and roll away combined with explosion. So it's something cool that you can do and you can apply all kinds of different themes together and you can really start getting interesting options and looks on your home screen as you're swiping between pages when you add the different ones together. Now if you get a lot going on or it's not working, just hit the clear option up at the top and you can go ahead and get started with something else and see how it looks and finally find something that that you really like that makes your device look unique. The last one I want to show you is called Pull to Respring. All you have to do is swipe down in settings to respring your device. Now if you're in the jailbreak community or you're new to it, you'll quickly learn that respringing your device is really important. Anyway, that is a first look at my jailbroken iPhone and some of the stuff that I have got installed and that I am rocking today. So if you enjoyed this video and you have some cool tweaks that I should check out or you have any questions or some sources I should look at, go ahead, drop that down below and let me know what I should be looking at here in 2019 rolling into 2020. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.